is a bit of a different video. Um, I'm going to put chapters. Um, I'm going to be updating all of my guides for special units, uh, the teams. I'm going to add a new trash unit, which will be the first thing we're talking about. Uh, groundhogs. And the tier list as the meta has changed recently. It's changed enough so I finally feel like this video was necessary. So... Without further ado, the first thing we're going to talk about is, let's see here, the trash ants. So these trash ants are going to be ants that I wouldn't keep. Um, the first three are really under any circumstance. Um, if you're new, you could probably keep Golden Shriver. Um, right now, there's no place for it in the meadow. Um, it's just on every, in every aspect, there's something that outperforms it. Um, so mid to end game, definitely hundred percent trash it. Maybe early game, you could keep it. It will probably circle back around at some point in the next update or the update after that. Um, but it's right now, there's no point for it. You'll see when I go to groundhogs, what I mean. Um, the next set here you see is the ants you do not want to trash. So any pay to win ants, you're paying for them, don't throw your money away. Giant Tooth, still way too valuable, even with the meta changes. Uh, I think the de developers just decided they like it the way it is. Uh, gold Armor, it's it's too versatile. Um, and the same for JJ, I was doing this list uh, with my server, going over each and every ant um, for each and every uh, unit. So any of the masters, um, eventually you do want to have multiple. Um, once you get to like very, very late game, like T9, like working on T10, you are you have to invest in the ants and the research anyways. So you want to have one, at least one unit of every kind, uh, maybe two or a mixed unit if you want. So you do want to keep the masters because they outperform everything on their level. Slim March and Bullet Ant, of course, you want to keep. Uh, so for shooters, there's no, nothing specific, um, no specific ant for shooters besides the universal ones that I would, I would kill. Um, as you see here, if you see any of the other unit types, it's until you have two full units, um, meaning all of your skills are maxed to level 10, your ants level 50, um, you want to have that at the very least. Going forward in the future, I would assume you're probably going to want two stars the way it's looking. Um, the speculation at this point. Same thing for Guardians. Make sure you get those first two full units. Um, Universal Ants help a lot with that. So you can mix and match uh, between different uh, troop types. Same thing with Carriers for Shooters and Guardians. Get those first two units. Get Universal Ants if you can't. Additionally, at the point in the meta, there is no real place for New World General, Enigmatic Tailor, Dark Giant. Guardians, same thing for shooters and carriers. Guardian General, still just trash. Even even with the update, they just the de developers hate it for some reason. I think it was the first one they made and just said, "Oh, we don't need this." So this is going to be the next uh, thing. The new PVE team list. Uh, I updated it. Um, not going to go into specifics. Uh, it did change a bit, and yeah. Um, special ant abbreviation, it's not going to go over that. I will put that in the description in case you're wondering what these ants are. Um, I made this before I made the abbreviation sheet. So, SS class has changed a little bit. So, you have the Masters, Giant Tooth, Jack Jumper. Um, S class, those, those, by the way, good in almost any, any circumstance. As you'll see when we get to the actual teams. Blood Ant and Slim Arch are S class, Gold Venom. Um, more of a substitute sh for sh Shikari, Shikari uh, Master. I still don't know how to say it. Someone please correct me. Um, Banshee Panda is good. I'm actually trying to work on a couple people who are Peter Wynn to see if a new setup will work with that, which would make it again SS class. At the moment, though, there's no place in really for the meta. It's more of a substitute for Giant Tooth. Um... I'm actually going to change the next three because, again, those three don't work. Um, 
except for Rock Bandit. So Rock Bandit will stay as class A class. Um, I put Gold Armor here. I didn't put him. I removed him from. I think it was Double S class. Um, he's pr the best role player in the game in that you're able to put him in so many places. But there's still other things you could put in those places, uh, depending on what we're talking about, that are better. <clears throat> for instance, for as you see when we go through the Groundhog sheet, for Groundhog, he is definitely double S class. This is still my my uh, PvP list, and it doesn't really change much. The the other list, as you'll see, is more of just what does the most damage now because of how Groundhog changed. If you haven't seen that, like I said last time, go and watch Umbra's Darkness video. He explains it. Um, I will show you my teams, what I would recommend again, but that's pretty much all we got. Um, so A-Class, Black Cancer, Banshee Velvet, uh, Stole. It's it's a, posi it's a situational ant. Uh, Dark Hercules Speculation, so I can't put him any higher than A-Class. I can't put him in S or Double S class because we don't know how he does. I would assume he's probably going to go into S class, but we don't know. Acid General, still good. Um, he's not double S class anymore for Groundhog, but it is what it is. Brown Rogue got nerfed. He got knocked down. White Velvet, with as far as everyone's gone, and I think at 5 and 8 stars, White Velvet will get a significant boost. Um, I haven't seen anyone with 5 stars yet. For white velvet to be good and even if they did there's still other better ants that you can get you could have five star and a two star um which would give your team overall a lot more strength than having a five star white velvet uh guardian general he just sucks like a golden sugar um i i would i would hold on to those two i think they're going to circle back around to be honest um but if like i just killed my almost fully max golden trigger for shells if you have him he's not doing anything you don't have any spot for him in your team get rid of him save for spiny driver ant so let's go to the next thing um so teams change uh giant tooth is now in front of new world general i took giant tooth out of second row there was getting some confusion um he should not be used in the second row because of the way the mechanics of how his skills fire if you don't know what i mean by that you don't understand then you don't understand the mechanics of how skills fire um and please just take my word for it um, i'm not going to go into the specific, specifics of why um slim arch bullet ant um gold armor and white velvet would be next white velvet at the very end more situational um shikari jj would be preferable golden venom did get a little bit of a debuff so um not as much a debuff i guess as much as once you get into the two and five star range it's just not as strong as shikari um so maybe once we get into eight stars i think uh golden venom will probably go back up over but as it is right now it's just how it is uh shooters hasn't changed much uh don't put giant tooth in second row please just please don't um i am personally using slim arch bullet and jj right now so you see it's like one or two one two um and i'm taking people with 400,000 power more than I am in Queen of Duels, so it does work. Um, I have other people. The ideal one is GTBA, uh, RM. JJ works as well. It gets slightly more skills fire, but it does less damage. Root Master, once you get it to two stars, it starts doing a consistent amount of considerable damage, which is to be noted, which why it's still over JJ. Guardians, um, if you see from last time, Giant Tooth um, is now meta for them. Um, it is possible to have solved because of the, just the raw amount of damage, especially if you're going against uh, Reap or Shikari, um, <coughs> to have the saw there. Um, <coughs> sorry. I did put uh, Rock Bandit in the second row. 
because um, we don't really know Dark Hercules at this point. Ideally, it would go second row, but we just don't know. Um, <coughs> Parada is still ideal. Sorry, guys, been doing back to back videos, losing my voice a little bit. Um, Parada is still the highest damage, followed by Mimicry, I think, in the entire game. Um, so then JJ will kind of be. Guardians, he's like really A class. I would put Prada and Mimicry as double S and nothing for S class for as far as damage output goes. And then put JJ in A class if I were to separate them all. Um, only because those two options are just so much better. Um, I wouldn't really have JJ unless you don't really have anything else to put there. So that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the update. Um, I do want to. I will have another video coming out, so hopefully I don't lose my voice completely. Um, if I do, it'll end up being another couple days, like it was I think last week. Um, I did reach a milestone in my account. Um, you guys may have seen it when I first had the game open. Um, I'm going to talk about what I'm doing there and what you should be doing there if you reach the same milestone. And you have the same prerequisites that's uh, accomplished. So I hope you enjoy the video. Please, um, if you can, drop a like. Um, and subscribe. I am seeing now for the longest time I was seeing it was like 50-50. number of people that were subscribed and, and who weren't. And now it's getting a little lopsided. So if you can, subscribe. Um, and like the video. The liking does help. Um, get my video recommended to new people. Um, so yeah. Hopefully y'all have a great day. And I will probably see you guys either later today or tomorrow with that account update. And yeah.